When you arrive in Bangkok, there's a certain feeling attached to it. Aloy, Aloy Mac. Mac. <laughs> Maybe it's the smiles, the food or the atmosphere. We can't help but keep coming back. Palang. Oh. Wow. Palang. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to be back in one of my favorite places in the entire world. After living in Thailand for two years, we started our channel right here. So it always feels extra special. And no matter how many times you return, you'll always see something that you've never seen before. It's one of our favorite places in Thailand, filled with culture, ambience, and food. So let's go find some. We've never been here during the day and the reason we've come is because there's street food everywhere. Here these ladies are making some gyoza. So there's shrimp ones, there's pork ones. She's frying them here. What is this? What? This, it's green. Oh, vegetable. It's like a chive? Right. Oh, wow. I've never seen this before. Gui chai. Gui chai. Gui. Gui chai. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, this is ours. It's like, ka. Look at this. These are fried dumplings. What a welcome back to Thailand. And I think this is the first time we have tried these fried dumplings. Normally we have them steamed. As you can see on the inside, it is stuffed with cabbage, with some pork, and it is crispy. I've got a little soy sauce over here and I'm gonna dunk it right in. These are so yummy. I know they're not traditionally Thai, but hey, once you're in Chinatown, and you see these, you're not gonna wanna say no. And I don't think I've seen dumplings so fat <laughs> before. We've actually just been home for a short while and this is completely different to where we went, but it's so nice to be back here. This always feels like home to us and that's why we came here to Chinatown. This is like the pinnacle of the hustle and bustle. It's exactly where we wanna be. Oh wow, look at these. So they have... Uh, what is this? Carrots. Carrots. Oh wow, and then it's in like a, a broth or something. Is spicy? Hey, mate. No. No, not no, spicy. spicy. Oh, okay. Hello, mate. Hello. Very good. Okay, thank you. So they have... So they have... I need to like her. Donut cake. Oh, donut. Oh wow, these are donuts. They're like little bowls. A tao dai ka? Ah, okay. Should we get some? Some si pa. Chai. Aloy mai? Aloy, don't like cake. Ah, don't like cake. Aloy mai. Kapun ka? It looks like a sausage. Hot dog. Oh, hot dog. And look how she, look how she swings the, the elastic band. That is the ultimate struggle for a foreigner. Is look how tight this elastic band is. Let's see if I can get this off. This is the struggle. Oh, I think I got it. She's twisting it now. <laughs> I got it. You got it. Three hours later. They look so good. Oh, oh come on, come on. I got a stick. <laughs> and they're covered in sugar. Mmm, all the way. Mmm, mmm. Come Wow. Saving that for later. Sadi Sadi Mamuang Naka? Oh, um, sweet? Oh, sweet. And, uh, any chair like her? Yes, it. Head, mate? Head. Head? So, this I think is green mango. And it looks like it's a spicy, got a spicy sauce. But this I've never seen before. Any chair like her? Any, any log or not? How are you? Yeah, how are you? <laughs> oh, 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 what what is the name? Oh, falang. Oh, it's called falang. I think it's a guava. That's guava. Guava. Yeah, guava. Oh, okay. Falang. 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 Ani falang kin. Ani falang kon. Oh. Falang kon. Falang kin. Ah. Oh, falang dog. <laughs> I really want to try this fruit. I think we should try it. So this is the 
the food version of Fulang. And in Fulang, they <laughs> use in Thai, because it's like a white mango, they use that as a name for the foreigners. So technically, this is me. <laughs> She's just got loads and loads of fruit in a cart, on the street, she can wheel it wherever she wants to go. So she actually has all sorts of things here. So she's this got sugar. sugar. This looks like salt and this looks like a spice. Spicy? Oh, huh? Oh, huh? Oh, Falang. 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 มะม่วงเปียวมะม่วงหวานอ๋อมะม่วงเปียวมะม่วงหวานอ๋อมะม่วงเปียวอ๋อขอบคุณค่ะอ๋อมะม่วงหวานอ๋อเปียวเอออัน
have taken a short little trip on the MRT to the canals of Bangkok and this is probably one of my favorite parts of Bangkok is even though you have all the skyscrapers all the buildings there is another side of Bangkok which is the more quiet calm peaceful areas so Bangkok is connected with all these beautiful little rivers and canals and bridges that go over this is awesome look wow and we're actually headed to Wat Praknam, which is one of the most beautiful and iconic Buddhas here in the heart of Bangkok. We can actually see the tip of it right now as we're walking along the canals. You can already... You can already start to notice the differences and the contrast of certain areas in Bangkok. Now we can see all the little houses on the riverfront. There is no sounds of traffic or cars or motorbikes. And it's the kind of feeling that we really, really love whenever we come to Bangkok. Hello. <laughs> Oh, need no. You too? I don't, I don't have internet. Oh, okay. you like her? Gigi Captain. Oh, Captain? Captain. Oh, Captain. I Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. I don't know, they might have told us their names incorrectly, so let us know in the comments what they actually said. <laughs> Whoa. Look how small you are. We have now brought you to Wat Paknam. Paknam actually means waterfront because this Buddha is actually seated overlooking the beautiful water and the river of Bangkok. It is actually the biggest sitting Buddha here in Bangkok at a whopping 64 meters tall. And it is just magnificent. Right next to the big Buddha is one of the canals and the rivers, so we're going to try and go on one of the boats. This lady's going to help us negotiate. Where do you want to go? Uh, we just want to go maybe up the river and then turn around and come back. Oh. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. Okay. Just want to go around, around here. Yeah. Just go back. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. It's, it's uh, 300, 300 and 300 oh. per person. They said that uh, normally one round is 600. Uh. So uh. now you have just only two. You don't have many uh. people. Oh, yes. I understand. So, Thank you for your help. You so <laughs> okay, I'm in. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> the standard fee is 600 baht, but normally if you have a lot of people, then it's cheaper. But if you want a private tour, it's 600 baht. Off we go! Like we said before, this is a totally different experience. Even though we've been to Bangkok many, many times, we still get to see a different side of Bangkok, plus a different mode of transport. We've never done this. We've never done this, still doing first. How many times have we been to Bangkok and we've never done this before? Uh, oh, <gasps> wow. wow. It's even more beautiful from the boat. I think to see the Buddha from here is a completely different angle and really shows its size. Mm. I'm always amazed by the houses that are built literally on the water, not next to, but on the water. This is something you need to do if you come here. I think it gives us such an appreciation for Thailand even more. Absolutely stunning. This turned into an unforgettable experience. I didn't think we were going to do this today. I just wanted to go and see the big Buddha, which is so iconic. Now we're cruising through the canals of Bangkok. As the sun is setting, we're watching this beautiful, magnificent Buddha. You can't get enough of looking at it. The back 
of the Buddha is still stunning. The amount of detail on the Buddha, the gold, so eye-catching. You can even see it from the train station two or three stops away. I felt like it went by so quickly. Just to see the Buddha was spectacular. Honestly, it leaves you speechless. <laughs> Oh, I needed this. <laughs> The sun is now setting over the backwaters of Bangkok and this is definitely a must, must, must do when you come to Bangkok. If you haven't done it already, I highly recommend it. It is the perfect day trip and if you enjoyed this video, there's a few others coming so please subscribe, like, send us a comment and we'll see you in the next video in Bangkok.